The Ford Territory is a compact crossover SUV produced by Ford through the JMC Ford joint venture in China since 2018. It reuses the nameplate from the previous Australian market territory crossover, with no relations between them, 1, 2. The first-generation model was introduced in China in 2018 as a rebadged and modified Yuxing S330 which is produced by Ford partner JMC, 3. In 2022, Ford used the nameplate for the export version of the Equator Sport, which is also produced by JMC Ford in China. The first-generation Chinese-made territory was introduced during the 2018 Chengdu Auto Show in September 2018. It is based on the JMC-developed Yuxing S330 which was introduced for the Chinese market in 2016. 3. The territory went on sale in early 2019 with Ford China classifying it as an entry-level compact SUV in between the EcoSport and Escape. The model is assembled at JMC Ford's plant in Nanchang, China, 6, 7. Despite not being offered in the Australian market, Ford Australia had input in the design and development of the new territory. Ride, handling, and NVH were tuned at Ford's Geelong Proving Grounds in Australia and in Nanjing, China, 8. The Ford Territory was given a mild refresh in early 2020 prior to its introduction in export markets. Changes to the Territory include a gloss black grille with a new pattern and restyled LED taillights. 9. From China, the model has been exported throughout South America and several left-hand drive Southeast Asian markets. The Territory was introduced in Brazil and Argentina on 7 August 2020. 10. With units arriving at Ford dealerships in Brazil in September 2020. 11. Pre-sale of the territory in Chile began in the second half of August 2020 with deliveries in mid-September 2020. 12. In August 2020, it made its debut in the Philippine market. 13. 14. And in Laos in December 2020. 15. The model was also released in Vietnam on 11 April 2021. 16. Powertrain. The territory is powered by a 1.5-liter EcoBoost 145 based on the JX 4G15 gasoline engine developed by JMC and AVL. Ford of Europe also helped in developing the power plant. 8. This engine features Miller cycle and produces 138 horsepower, 140 PS, 103 kilowatts, and 225 Nm, 22.9 kgm, 166 lbft of torque. In Argentina, the Philippines, Cambodia, Laos, Chile, and Vietnam, the territory's 1.5 turbo is rated at 141 horsepower, 143 PS, 105 kilowatts, and 225 Nm, 22.9 kgm, 166 lbft, of torque, 17, 14, 18, 19, while in Brazil, it is rated at 148 horsepower, 150 PS, 110 kilowatts and 225 Nm, 22.9 kgm, 166 lbft, of torque, 20, a 48V mild hybrid version is available in China. Territory EV. In August 2019, Ford released an electric version of the Territory in China. It uses a 120 kilowatts, 160 horsepower, 160 PS, electric motor, a liquid-cooled battery of 49.14 kWh and 360 km, 220 miles, of NEDC range, 21. Safety recalls. On February 19, 2021, Ford Philippines issued a recall on the territory due to a faulty electric battery sensor or EBS bracket together with the wiring harness attached to the bracket, 22. In May 2022, Ford released the Equator Sport, a two-row version of the Equator, for markets outside China under the territory nameplate. 23. The territory was introduced for the Mexican market on October 5, 2022. 24. The second-generation territory was also introduced in the Philippines during the 2023 Manila International Auto Show on April 13, 2023. It comes in two variants which is entry-level titanium and the top-spec titanium X. 25. The Ford EcoSport, pronounced EcoSport, 1, is a subcompact crossover SUV, B-segment, manufactured by Ford between 2003 and 2023. The first-generation model was developed and built in Brazil by Ford Brazil since 2003, at the Kamakari plant. The second-generation model was launched in 2012, which was assembled in factories in India, Thailand, Russia and Romania, 
2, the vehicle entered the North American market for the first time in 2018 until its discontinuation after the 2022 model year. Throughout its existence, the EcoSport shares its platform with the Fiesta. The first generation EcoSport was designed by Ford Brazil Development Center under the program code BV226 and the codename Amazon Project. It is based on the European Fiesta and Fusion MPV, sharing the same Ford B3 platform. The EcoSport became one of Ford's best seller models in Brazil, consistently appearing on the 20 best selling vehicles. It was also popular in Argentina, Venezuela, and Mexico. Its main competitors were the Fiat Palio Adventure and Volkswagen CrossFox. In 2011, cumulative sales reached 700-003. Versions and Engines The EcoSport was available with five inline-four engines. Zeta Crocom 1.0L Gasoline 8V Supercharged, 70 kW, 95 PS, discontinued in 2006. Zeta Crocom 1.68V Gasoline Slash Ethanol, 82 kW, 111 PS. Duratec 2.0L Gasoline 16V, 107 kW, 145 PS. Duratorque 1.4L TDCI Diesel, 50 kW, 68 PS, export only. All models have front wheel drive with manual transmission as standard. The 2.0L model can also receive a 4-speed automatic transmission, FWD only, or 4-wheel drive, manual 6-speed only. In the latter case, an electronically controlled system automatically engages the rear axle when front-wheel spin is detected, and also lets the driver manually engage the rear axle from the dashboard. Restyling At the end of 2007, a mid-cycle restyling was introduced which renewed completely the front to bring it closer to then-current Ford pickups, as well as the contemporary Brazilian restyling of the Ford Fiesta. Also updated were the rear lights, both bumpers, and the interior with a new dashboard using better quality materials. Mexico. The Ford EcoSport arrived in the end of 2003 to Mexico as a model for 2004. The reception by the public was impressive and continued until 2006. For the model year of 2007, sales of the small SUV began slipping and it stopped being a hot seller. Compared to 15,000 units sold in 2004, only 10,000 units of the model year of 2007 were sold. This trend continued to worsen for the refreshed model year of 2008 due in part to a price increase. Only 6,345 units of the model year 2008 were sold and the model year 2009 sales through July 2009 were a mere 2,135 units. Due to decreasing sales and heightened competition from the Ford Escape, Ford announced that a shortened 2010 model year would be the last sold in Mexico. The second-generation EcoSport was developed under Ford's global product development process in Ford Brazil Development Center. Designated under the project code B515 and the model code BK in Australia, 7, it was based on the Fiesta B2e platform. The second-generation EcoSport was first showcased as a concept at the 2012 New Delhi Auto Expo in India on 4 January 2012, 8, and was launched in Brazil on 14 July 2012, 9. Ford showed the production variant of the Ford EcoSport in China, planning to begin sales in March 2013. In addition to China, the vehicle was also made at Ford India's Chennai plant for domestic sale and export initially to the European, and by 2018, the North American, markets. Ford's Rayon plant in Thailand produced the EcoSport for Southeast Asian markets, 4, 10. As of August 2015, Ford's Indian plant had already sold 200,000 EcoSports, 112,000 of which were sold in India while the rest were exported to South Africa, Taiwan, Japan, Australia, and Europe. 11. In November 2016, Ford announced plans to supply the EcoSport from India to the United States. 12. In some countries, the EcoSport has a 1.0-liter three-cylinder turbocharged EcoBoost petrol engine which has a power output of 120 PS, 88 kilowatts, 118 brake horsepower, and 170 Nm, 125 lbft, of torque, citation needed. The engine has twin independent variable camshaft timing, TVCT, which contributes to the turbocharged engine's peak torque starting at 1,300 rpm, 13. The EcoSport can tow up to 700 kilograms, 1,500 pounds, dot, 14.
In 2018, Ford ended passenger cars production in Thailand, effectively ending EcoSport production. Ford continues to build pickup trucks and its SUV derivative in the country. 15. In 2019, Ford Sollers closed their factory in Neighborezny, Chelny, Russia, ending production of EcoSport in Russia. 16. In 2020, the EcoSport was discontinued from Ford's Australia and New Zealand lineup, with the European market Ford Puma serving as its replacement. In late 2021, Ford ended production of the EcoSport in India, 17, and in Vietnam in early 2022, 18. On January 11, 2021, Ford announced to shutter three production plants in Brazil as part of cost-saving measures. As a result, production of the EcoSport in Brazil was ceased at immediate effect, with the car discontinued in Brazil, alongside the Ka, Figo, and Troller T4, 19. Powertrains Engines available include the 1.0-liter EcoBoost developed at Ford's Dunton Technical Center in the UK. It is a turbocharged, cast aluminium block three-cylinder made in a 74 kilowatts, 99 horsepower, and 88 to 92 kilowatts, 118 to 123 horsepower version, with the latter delivering a peak torque of 170 Nm, 130 lbfft from 1,300 to 4,500 rpm and 200 Nm, 150 lbfft, on overboost. The use of aluminium for the engine block instead of cast iron improved engine warm-up time by 50%. The three-cylinder engine design causes inherent vibrations, which are countered by a deliberately unbalanced flywheel, which has less friction than balance shafts. The exhaust manifold is cast into the cylinder head, reducing engine warm-up time. The engine block's height and width dimensions are comparable to an A4 size sheet of paper. This EcoSport version was available in China, Europe, India, the United States, but not Brazil. The Brazilian EcoSport has a 1.6 liter petrol engine, which produces 113 brake horsepower, 84 kilowatts, and 115 lbft, 156 Nm, torque. The Russian EcoSport comes with two different engines, a 1.6 liter, which produces 122 brake horsepower, 90 kilowatts, and 148 newton meters, and a 2.0 liter, which produces 140 brake horsepower, 90 kilowatts, and 186 newton meters. The 2.0 liter version of EcoSport comes as AWD with manual transmission, while the 1.6 liter is 2WD only but available with six speed manual or power shift automotive transmissions. Along with the 1.0-liter EcoBoost engine, the Chinese and the Indian market also get a 1.5-liter TVCT petrol engine, which produces 108 brake horsepower, 81 kilowatts, and 140 newton meters, 103 pound FT. The EcoSport also has a 1.5-liter TDCI BS6 diesel engine that outputs 98 brake horsepower, 73 kilowatts, power at 3,750 rpm and 215 Nm. 159 lbfft, of torque at 1,750 to 2,500 rpm, 20.